Anin Buju, band members. Today is Tuesday, and I would like to start with the COVID updates. For the counties in Aiken County, yesterday 1,392, today 1,394. Crow Wing, 6,885, today 6,895. That's an increase of 10 in one day. Mille Lacs, yesterday 3,149. Today, 3,154. Pine County yesterday, 3,376. And today, 3,378. And I'm happy to report that there are no increases in the Mille Lacs Band COVID cases. District 1 and District 2A, 119, no change. District 2, 12, no change. And District 3, 35, no change. And as we talk about on a regular basis, as a reminder to follow the protocols of making sure that you uh, wash your hands on a regular basis when you're out and about and try to keep that six feet distance if you can. And also if you have family and friends that have not taken the vaccine, please make them aware that there is a vaccine clinic we will put the number on the website. DNR has sent us an information that the National Weather Service has issued. The heat advisory is in effect from 1 p.m. this afternoon until 9 p.m. this evening. So please pay attention to that. And make sure you drink a lot of water. It is scary with the climate changes that we're experiencing where we have this extreme heat. For all of you uh, basketball players, there is a mental toughness basketball camp, and that is at the District 1 Aquatic and Fitness Center, and that's August 2nd and 3rd from 9 a.m. to noon. And you will learn some of the basketball fundamental skills, how to handle a ball, shooting, passing, angles, and how to improve some of the skills that's needed for the basketball on the website of course we'll have the information on the website and that is carlis.merl2 at millaxband.com the health and human services community support program is working on an initiative to have you or your loved ones to continue to live independently and so what they want to find out as they're moving forward with the program, what are the needs of our community? And so there is a survey and they would like, uh, if you have the time to take the survey that talks about the needs of maybe yourself or your family member to make sure that they continue to live independently in a good way. And that is Jay Ballinger at hhs.millaxbands hyphen nsn.gov and that's also will be on the website so today i have a special guest with me and i'm very honored to have susan maston and um, as yesterday i reported that there are many of our women from the Mille Lacs band of our we win chapter that are here attending the annual conference so with that i would like uh, susan maston to say hello to all of you Aikui, my warmest greetings. It's my pleasure and honor to be able to speak to you today. We are here at our annual convention, and I just want to thank the Mille Lacs Band for bringing the We Win chapter here to join us at this annual convention. It's a wonderful opportunity for women to be able to participate in the trainings that we offer that bring personal and professional development um, workshops to them. This is a uh, wonderful way for them to gain valuable skills that help them in their professional lives as well as in their um, workplace setting. So if you do not know about WeWin, I encourage you to contact the local chapter to learn more and to become a member of the chapter because uh, it's a great opportunity to uh, be able to share and learn and grow with your um, uh, colleagues and the women in your communities and hope to see you in the near future. Thank you for the opportunity to speak to the tribal members today. Okay, 
Here are a few of the many participants that we have at this year's conference. Hi, I'm Kelly Miller. Janie Waite. Hi, Brandy Smith. Thank you, and I'm glad that you're here with us. Yes. Miigwech, and I will talk to you soon.